Okay, so here we are with my Ender 5 Plus and it's been sitting here for a few days and just doing a quick test. I've made the inner wheels so they're not, you know, I can spin these round on all, all axes, on, on this axis and this side, I can spin them round. So the eccentric nuts are turned off, but my wheels have now gone flat. So I'm not sure whether this will come out in the video. I'm just going to move it. So that's moving, and if I move it back to where it was, there, it's stopped. I, I now have to press harder to get past this point. I'm going to stop, going to come back, and it'll, I'm gently pressing with my finger, and it will stop exactly in the same place. There. So what it means is, is the outside wheels are too tight. Now this one just about moves around this one is tight I can't if I I can't move that one excuse the noise in the background that's my CNC cutting then this wheel here I can just move around without really gripping and this wheel it's tight so that's gonna be no good because I, I was adjusting my printer and every next day I came down, I would just move the access backs and forwards and it would do exactly what it's doing. It would stop, obviously, where the pressure is too great on this nut, on this wheel. Overnight, there must become a flat spot. So I think the solution is... Now, I'm not worried if I mess these brackets up because I can see and see cut another one out of fiberglass or aluminium. It wouldn't matter. What I'm going to do is this nut is this wheel is too tight. So every time I move it, it wants to just stop in this position. So to get it past this position, I really have to like pull or push to get it past so with this wheel and the corresponding one over here I think I'm gonna take this out and just use a very small file and file the hole towards uh, the stepper motor towards my finger to give it slightly less pressure on this profile now if I mess it up so I, I can just take this off draw it up in cash so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to drop this one out now with a little file just give it I don't know half a dozen strokes going down depending what file I can get in now so it's going to have to be a small needle file and then leave it overnight and come back in the morning and see whether I've still got this problem of square wheels because it's obviously not these these because I can spin this round so I've just wondered what, if anyone else is, is suffering the problem now you may have seen I've made my own four wheel carriage over here that's under development at the moment um, but that, that runs a lot better and this this doesn't it doesn't have any flat spots because I made it and I know exactly what tolerances are but this is all to do with the build quality so if if the machine is slightly out of specs if the machine is slightly too wide like mine appears to be the outer wheels will do exactly what mine are doing it's like they're getting flat spots only two of them um but i'm gonna have a go and i will come back and tell you results later so it's now the next morning and <clears throat> after i've elongated this hole slightly I'm going to see whether I get this square wheel feeling when I move the gantry. Oh, that's minor compared to what it was. I'm just going to move it backwards and forwards. Obviously, it's not coming out in the video very well. But now I've just worked the wheels backwards and forwards. There is no notching. So by just filing out the back of this hole and the other side. So... Yeah, that wheel was still a little bit tight, but let's compare it to the other side again. 
it's hard to turn these wheels because you can only get your fingers in there. Yeah, I think that I think that's going to work. So these are still spinning freely. So I do the adjustments on uh, the adjustable nuts there, and uh, I should be good. Hopefully, got rid of my square wheel feeling. Andy feeling happy with himself.